going to be on replacing your toilet tank lever or handle. Now if you look at this wonderful setup over here, you can see how the handle is not even adjusted anymore. Normally it would be like this and you would press downward, but that could become a problem with a toilet like this because you can see when you would flush it normally with a setup like this, it would start to hit the tank. So, um, but when you have a handle like this, it is definitely broken or not adjusted. And what happens is when you get to flush it, a lot of times the chain gets caught and the toilet will just run and run and run and waste lots of water. Now, I'm not going to say the brand, but this is purchased at one of the big centers and it's one of the cheapest things they sell and it's a piece of junk. And I'm not the only one that has a problem with the handle breaking off like this after a while. So what I'm going to do, this is a Fluid Master, perfect fit toilet tank lever, lever, whatever you want to call it. It comes in chrome black and I believe white. And it's only a couple dollars more than this thing. So I'm going to show you how to change this. What they want you to do is they want you to loosen the nut over here. You should be able to do that with your finger. If not, you might have to get an adjustable wrench or some uh, channel locks. You loosen that. You will disconnect the chain from the handle, the lever, and then we'll start installing this guy. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If I save you some money or you want to donate to my channel, ask me for my PayPal in a message or a comment. I've got a pair of vice grips. You can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. You shouldn't have to, well, you, yeah, you shouldn't have to turn off the water for this. Um, get your channel locks, your vice grips. Again, you might be able to do this with your fingers. And you're going to want to go, you're going to want to turn it to, turn it this way. You're going to want to turn clockwise. Hopefully you know what clockwise is. Because the nut is on you shouldn't turn it clockwise unless they put a left-handed thread on this thing, which we'll find out in a minute. I think it should come off. That's not coming off. Okay, so you'd have to turn it counterclockwise. They've got a they have a backwards thread on here, a left-handed thread. Turn it this way. Turn it counterclockwise. You turn the nut. You loosen the nut. And sometimes these handles just pop off. I don't really know how this one is designed. I've got the nut. Um, again, sometimes these handles just snap on. I don't know how this one is held on. There is a hook that's held on to this bracket that I need to remove. I hope you can see that in the video. You can't. I'm going to try to adjust this now. I showed that to you before. I disconnected the hook. So now I've just got a handle that's hanging here, and I've got to figure out how to remove the handle. And I don't know how this was assembled. Again, usually you can just pull these handles off. But I don't know how this was put together. So rather than keep this video going forever, I'm going to figure this out. And I'll let you know. You can already see there's a piece of broken handle that's coming off. The handle's cracking off on the tip. So this thing is already corroded after not even two years. Um, there it goes. Absolute piece of garbage. That was about $4. Um, I'm assuming this was, this was probably just one piece. This one probably just shoved into the hole and then you put the nut in there and tightened it down. So now I'm going to get the new handle out and start to assemble that together. It looks like there is a chain with this handle. Let me zoom out, zoom out. You can see the toilet. Nice and exciting. I'm not going to tear the back of it because I don't want to lose the instructions in case I need them. Usually the chain will either come with this or it will come with the, the uh, flushing, the flapper, 
the ball cock, I don't know if you can say ball cock on YouTube. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like there is a chain. This is fairly intricate. What does this say? Um, I believe this is an adjustment so that you can adjust, I don't know how it loosens, so you can adjust the handle for, there's the nut, there's the nut that we're going to be using to screw this thing on, and I think the handle snaps off, I'm not really sure yet, I'll let you know in a minute, and it has all these adjustments, you've got the, the holes for the chain, I, there is no way this is going to fit into the hole like the old one, so this has to come apart, and then you have your adjustments for right angles, left angles, uh, straight. Now it looks like we have to remove the handle, as I was saying, to get everything mounted. And we have these little flange pieces over here, these two little pieces. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, looks like you have to pry this thing apart. You just have to, I would be very careful putting a screwdriver in there and bending far because you might crack the plastic, but it looks like you have to take these two little pieces on the side, get them separated so that you can take the nut apart, slide this into the toilet bowl, into the toilet tank hole, put the nut back on, then you will get your chain mounted on here and you'll snap this piece back on. Have a little screwdriver on my key ring. I'm going to try to pry this apart. And it's either going to work or I'm going to break it. It looks really tight, so I'm not sure if this is right, but there it goes. I pulled it. Don't put a screwdriver in there. You will definitely crack this. You can see this little ridge over here, this ridge. That's where these pieces will fit in. So now what you want to do is you want to take the nut that's on here, and this is a left-hand threaded nut. I didn't know that. That's the problem I was having with the other one. The handle's already separated from this. I think that's normal. Um, I don't know how this mounts. Over there it says top, so that's the important thing. So you want to mount this at top, and then I believe this handle will snap in when it's finished. Like all of these things, the instructions are terrible. But it does say top over there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nut off, and the instructions say left-handed threaded. Left-hand thread, so that was uh, what I wasn't aware of with the other thing, but it does come apart left-handed. Top, so you want to have top facing up. There's some arrows here, but we've got top. And it doesn't want to fit in there. It doesn't want to fit in the hole with top. So I can't really depend on that. I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't even know if this is going to work. It doesn't even want to go in the toilet. Okay, so we've already got a problem here. And that's interesting because that says top, and that says top, and so there's lots of, there are a lot of tops on here. Um, it's always something, isn't it? You know, something as simple as this, and this should just snap right in there. But it doesn't want to go in there, and I don't want to break the toilet. I definitely don't want to break the toilet. This handle just might not work. This might... This thing might not work. I'm not going to file the toilet down. I'm not sure how much I like this, but let me show you what's going on. The It comes with a little white washer in case you have too much slop. This thing will definitely not fit into the hole. So I've applied this washer around, and now I've got this left-handed reverse thread nut that is going to go on here, and I'm still not sure how this is going to work. I don't know how this handle goes on. I, I don't understand any of this right now. I just don't, because the instructions are absolutely terrible. And this just might not even work as far as I'm concerned. So that's what you want to do. You want to tighten your nut down. Left-handed thread, very confusing. And you're going to need a wrench to go in there. And then what we're going to do is take this lever and slam it back in there like we did before. 
and maybe the handle goes over this piece, so that's maybe what uh, makes this whole thing work. So it, it, things might be okay, um, even though it still looks very confusing. file down this thing so that it would fit into the hole better, but I just want to get this thing done. Everybody needs to have a toilet that works. If this doesn't work, you can still keep the tank open and yank on your chain to flush the toilet until you got a chance to go to the store and buy a new one. All right, I'm tightening it down. It's it's got a, a tighter fit now. It's starting to fit into that hole a little better. That did not sound right. Um, it definitely is working better now. It's it's fitting in there better. It's got a a, a tighter seal. I don't want to tighten this down too much and break it. So what I want to do now is you've got these holes here where. <clears throat> You can put your chain hook, and let me see, I believe that if I press this thing in, it allows the adjustment, there we go, let's get this on the camera. You press this in, it allows the adjustment to make it longer or shorter. So let me insert this now. And remember I told you before how it was snapping on there, so I'm gonna snap this on here. Snapped on, that's good. Now let me grab the chain. Let's get a picture of the tank so I can get the chain in there. Take off my watch. Don't want toilet water on your watch. I wear my watch on my right hand and people always ask me if I'm left-handed or right-handed. Because you always wear your watch on the opposite hand, but I'm right-handed and I wear the watch on the right hand. So that's what my dad did, and that's just what I do. So I'm trying to grab this chain. The chain is stuck down here. It's hooked onto the... So what I need to do now is... Um, the chain is absolutely the perfect distance from the very last hook. So I'm going to just hook it on here now. I'm going to have to flush the toilet so I can get more room with the hook. See, I got a little bit of dirt. You get dirt when you're messing around in a toilet tank. Okay? And it almost, uh, it almost did what it did on the other one, which is it got stuck. So I need to find a way to stop this from dropping down. That's the problem. This drops down too much, and I don't know how to do that yet. I will be back in a minute. Let me know. According to the directions, it says, Apply some force and use some uh, some force on this to get it to rotate. Now, I can't raise this too high because I have to worry about the tank, but I've also got this dropping way, way down, which I don't like. So let me see. Yeah, that's not what I want. Let me, let me figure this out. So this has got some really nice features and adjustments, but I don't like it either. You can see down there that this handle is, I'll show you in a minute, it's just really kind of winky deep. Um, I'm not too thrilled with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the handle, which really is kind of backwards now, but this knurled part should fit on here and the handle should snap on, I hope. There we go. So it's, almost, it's backwards already. It's kind of backwards compared to what you would normally have. Normally the handle would go this way, but you know that's just how it is. I'm going to flush it now. We'll do a test. Let me get the camera so you can see what's going on. Normally you would have this thing going straight across and then the chain going down. Um, my brother-in-law worked on this before, so that's why it's kind of screwed up right now. The chain is too short and this handle just hangs down there, which to me is ridiculous. Again, it should come straight out, but I can't get it to go straight out. So let's flush it and do a test. Oh my god, it has to flush upward? It's not even working now. Now this is... <laughs> there's 
just no excuse for this. There's no excuse at all for a handle to take this much time to... I can't even flush it now. Check this out. This is ridiculous. This should be like two minutes. This should be a two minute thing. How do I flush this thing right now? It should flush. Okay, so it will flush. Let's try the handle. Unbelievable. How in the world is this thing supposed to work? It still doesn't want to flush. Alright, somebody tell me what the heck I'm doing wrong with this piece of garbage. Now, I'm going to show you in a minute what I did is I flushed the toilet, I kept the handle off, I flushed the toilet, I raised this thing up, and then I pushed the handle on, and then it dropped back down into the position it's in right now. So, um, let's wait till it finishes the flush, and normally you'd have a handle that would go out this way and you press it downward. This one is facing inward and you press upward, completely backwards. But let me show you what it does. Um, the toilet's flushing. It, it works. It looks nice. It's a nightmare to install. But let me show you the uh, lifting it up now. And the chain isn't getting caught. Again, the chain on this one is too short. But everything's working right now. Let me... here. You have the tank on here. The whole, the important thing now is it doesn't work. So let me wait for it to flush one more, or fill up one more time and I'm going to flush it as long as the handle doesn't bang into the tank and as long as it flushes. That's the most important thing. You got to make sure that your chain does not get caught, doesn't get uh, stuck on there so the tank runs forever. And I would watch this for a while. Like all toilets, you should not leave the house until you know that the tank is filled up and the water is not running. But I'm going to lift it up. Very smooth action. And listen for the flapper. It sounds like the flapper is closed. The toilet's filling up. So sorry about all the problems, but I make my videos so you can see what you're going to be dealing with when you do an install. Uh, again, if it helped you out, please leave a donation to my channel. Do a thumbs up and a subscribe. It helps me out as a YouTube partner. And I'll wait for the tank to fill up, and then I will post this video so it helps everybody else. Now I can put my watch on, now that I'm not going to be dealing with any more toilet water. took a lot longer than the one or two minutes that they expect, but it does work. One more flush. It, it's kind of okay that uh, even though the hole was too small for this with that extra washer, it worked out perfectly. Good luck with your install. I did the same thing I did before. What I did is I uh, took the handle off, flushed it, and pushed the handle back on in the proper direction. It's still, it's facing in the right direction, but usually the turn would go downward. This kind of goes upward, but at least it is like it should be. So, uh, do I recommend it? Yeah. Is it a nightmare to install? Uh, it's not easy, but it's not hard. It's going to take some time. Um, well. I don't really like that, but you can see that the handle works. It's just the pump thing that's in there, the tank, the flusher, that is above the top.